Hi Capricorn and welcome to my channel. I hope you're well and safe. Thank you for all your support so far on my channel. Um, please do like, comment and subscribe so I can keep this channel going as well. So this is for Capricorn, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for May 2020. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so your energy for May um, seems you're going to be focused on family, home, um, with a 10 might be an ending of some sort, um, potentially. I did get a feeling actually just before this reading of um, moving on, some of you might be moving on, maybe moving might be the case when that's possible. In your past we've got um, water energy, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, someone quite loving who maybe came into your life. We'll clarify that in a moment. And in your future, we've got Sagittarius energy. Um, finding balance within yourself, mind, body, spirit, emotions. So that definitely might be the theme for May, sort of trying to find balance in your family. Okay, let's see. Crown in the reading and root of the reading. Yeah, this was the card that flipped out before that made me say, um, I'm sensing some of you moving, moving on or you want to. You might not be able to, May, obviously due to our situation, but the back of your mind, some of you want to move move on from a situation because it's yeah you've been through quite a challenging time and you're going to need to persevere yeah so you you, you might feel a little bit stuck in may um bottom of the deck the lovers so this could be to do with a connection maybe wanting to move towards a person could be a gemini Let's get some more in your past. Yeah, so definitely you or someone else walked away. Um, now we've got a lot of water energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Might have been an, an age gap. Notice they're looking away from each other. So there was some discord I'm, I'm feeling. Um, and someone, yeah, someone walked away here in love, I'm getting. Okay, let's see your future. Okay, so communication coming in, potentially, passionate communication, um, working things out with the three of pentacles um might be you might know this person from work this person that you potentially meet um i'm getting a new energy here for some of you we've got more fire aries leo sagittarius uh capricorn taurus virgo and yeah definitely completion of a cycle so this ending from the past you're going to you know complete that cycle and move on I'm, I'm feeling strongly here um we've got strong um fixed signs so scorpio aquarius taurus leo potentially let's get some more for your future energy Okay, yeah, so you might be at a standstill for a while, as I was getting before from you want to move on, but it might be 
difficult initially, but you're going to have that new passionate beginning with the Ace of Wands. Strongly getting that an ending. Um, might be travel that eventually happens for you. Might be someone at a distance from you as well. Could be a Pisces. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have lots of options. Might be a bit confusing for you during this time in May. And feeling stuck, that's really been coming through a lot here in your energy. But in time, yeah, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, so destiny, good fortune will come for you in the 10 and, and ending. But remember these things, as I said, take time and in our current situation you know it might take a little bit longer so persevere see um what angel cards i can get for you So yeah, it's definitely an ending, ten of fire here. Um it might things might get on top of you. You might need to get some help from others. Um bit of stress I'm getting. But we've got a repeat card here. The wheels. So definitely positive change coming. Um a situation will move forward eventually, so be patient. And with the renewal card here, um, being divinely guided and moving on, yeah, moving in a new direction. For some of you, this can be a reconciliation because we've got two people here. For some of you, I'm getting that you just move on alone. Okay. Um, four of air at the bottom, yeah, needing to take some time to rest before you make a decision yeah and meditate to find your answers because I feel it's going to be a bit stressful being at a crossroad yeah crossroads and um, unable to make a decision because you're gonna you're gonna feel a bit stuck and then we've got more earth energy Capricorn Taurus Virgo but I feel this is actually your energy and you're going to buckle down and eventually get things done. Um, and for some of you, definitely alone. I'm, I'm getting two different stories, as I said, coming through for you here. Um, let's get another card for you to finish. So the Four of Earth. Um, you might need to be careful with finances um, and have some business decisions to make. So it'd be quite charitable. Yeah. So a new direction I'm, I'm getting definitely. In the world, there you go. There's another repeat card. Um, where's it gone? <laughs> yeah. So end of a cycle moving on to enlightenment most definitely yeah positive future ahead I'm, I'm getting for you okay capricorn i hope that you enjoyed the reading i hope it resonated please like comment and subscribe if it did um i do private readings so check the description box below and i'll see you again soon